okay yeah. so as you can see it's working fine as you can see uh, it's working totally fine hey guys i hope you all are doing great in this video i'm going to show you how to detect hands using python and opencv so in order to detect hands uh, we need to install some uh, all, all these libraries uh, i've stated over here now uh, that are opencv then media pipe cv zone and tensorflow so make sure you install all this library and get back to this video so uh, i assume uh, you have installed all this library now without any further ado let's get started with the code so firstly we'll uh, will will import all the libraries that we want so import cv2 as cv so uh, this will import our open cv library and then from cv zone import hand tracking module so uh, when we'll use this hand tracking module it makes use of media pipe library so if you haven't installed this already then uh, definitely you will find some issues some error uh, further when you run this code so make sure you have uh, installed all this library that i've stated over here so uh, after okay so now we have completed with importing uh, now we'll create an object of uh, our webcam for that we'll use uh, we'll make a variable capture where we'll store the object and we'll use cv dot video capture method video capture and we'll pass zero as a parameter uh, since uh, i'm using my default camera i'll pass zero as a parameter uh, okay uh, now we'll now we'll make an object to detect our hands so for that uh, we'll first make an detector variable where we'll store this object and now uh, using the hand tracking module hand tracking model dot hand detector hand detector yeah uh, so we have created the object of a hand detector uh, in order to detect our hands now uh, we'll run the while loop while true while true uh, so uh, now we'll capture uh, we'll read the frame from the capture object uh, and capture object is nothing but our webcam so that means we'll read frames from our webcam so for that uh, we'll use the read method with capture object capture dot read yeah. now this read method returns two values first will be the uh, boolean type uh, return uh, where it returns true if the uh, frame is captured or otherwise it will return false so yeah that will be stored in return ret variable and then it will return the image that is captured so yeah yeah uh, now since we have got an image uh, since we have got the frame now we'll detect uh, hands inside that frame so for that we'll write uh, detector we'll use a detector object uh, in order to detect the hands so detector detector dot uh, find hands find hands and we'll pass this captured frame that is img into this uh, find hands uh, method as a parameter so that it can detect hands in this image okay and uh, we'll now again this find hand methods find hand method uh, returns two two values the first will be the hands hands and second will be the image itself where it uh, it'll, uh, where our hand are detected hands are detected so inside this hands variable uh, we'll get uh, several information about the detected hand such as the bounding box around the hand and all the points uh, that uh, that uh, we're gonna see further in this video yeah so uh, here our hands will be detected and uh, will be drawn on our image and uh, it'll be stored in this image variable now we'll just display this image with the help of i am show method 
I will show. Uh, firstly, the window name will be uh, hands detected. Detected and uh, the image itself. Okay, so this will display our image with the hands detected. Now, uh, the last thing we have to do is to uh, write the condition to break out of this while loop. So for that, we'll write if cv dot wait key wait for one millisecond equals equals what d of x x. So if this is there, then break out of the while loop. So what this uh, code of uh, block of code uh, does is that uh, whenever uh, the pointer over here will wait for one millisecond, uh, it will check whether someone is pressing this character X on the keyboard. Uh, this can be anything that uh, you want to write over here. So I'll I'll just use X for that purpose. So whether uh, someone is pressing that uh, character over here, if yes, then it will break out of the loop. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, we, we just come out of while loop and we'll release the capture object by writing capture dot release method and then we'll destroy all the windows. Destroy all windows. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope uh, it should work fine. Let's try and run this one. Okay, it will take some time, 10 to 15 seconds to appear. Okay, so as you can see, it's working fine. As you can see, uh, it's working totally fine. Uh, now, uh, if you have to uh, close this program, just press X or whatever character you have given over here and your program will be closed. Uh, that's how you detect hands using Python. So I hope you've learned something new in this video. If you did, then make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you'll never miss any further updates. I'll see you in another video. Until then, have fun.